Many years ago, a man of God, I was listening to a man of God. The man of God came and said that he doesn't have any prayer failure. That he has never prayed and he's not answered. I said, this man of God, that lie, 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 lie. Men of God, they too lie. They want to make... Yes, now. Even those years, I heard Bishop David O'Hare okay, say that he has not gone to hospital. He has not been sick. I say, how can people be saying this? Say, Tom, since he's Bishop, Naim, no. You know what I used to think those days? I say, if you are rich, why will you be sick? Rich people, do they fall sick? <laughs> Their sickness is even more costly. Listen to me. As a poor person, you are suffering poor person sickness. Anytime you are a poor person and you suffer big man sickness, it's witchcraft. It's your foundation. I can tell you free of charge. What's your business with diabetes? When What have you eaten? People that have enjoyed their life eh, drank all kinds of stuff. They are suffering diabetes and liver failure. You, is it, saccharine that you are taking. Is Fanta that made you develop diabetes. Salt, salt made you have liver failure. Is your foundation. What did you eat? What do you eat that you are having? What have you done? You are having high blood pressure. That thing is big man sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. It's, it's when you are thinking about your one billion, your ship that is on the sea and the new government policy and all that. Bro, 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 bro. If God did not intervene, you will not find money to eat this night. What's the relationship between that and diabetes and liver failure and high blood pressure? It's your foundation. <laughs> there is big man sickness. In Nigeria, when COVID was here, did you notice that it was big man sickness? That's why they fought it. They made sure once he's touching big men, it will die. Have you seen the same thing with malaria? If you go to foreign nations, they don't have malaria. They don't suffer those. Am I, am I not correct? Why is malaria still in Nigeria and COVID has left? It's because it's big man sickness. Malaria is small man sickness. Now, now understand my point. Amen. Understand my point. There are many things that you have pursued that the hand of God is not in. I used to have up to 35 prayer points. I prayed it for two years. I checked. I'm not sure it was up to five that was answered. Watch. It means... Now, I'm not against prayer point. Too. I'm saying you don't know what is prayer point. You don't know how to obtain it. Are you seeing it? The scripture says, for we know not. That means out of that 35, the one that... Are you getting what I'm saying? Out of 35... I'm assuming 35 because some of you have up to 100. Now, out of that 35, it means that the one that is accounted for prayer point from heaven is just five. So have 35, check it. Put 35 prayer points. Lord, give me a card this year. Give me a card this year. This coming year before. Imagine some of your prayer points four years ago, three years ago. If God answered it, you wouldn't have even married this your husband. Check many things that is on the pipeline. Lord, 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 Lord. They, they are want to take away my brand for me. Lord, I bind every power. If they didn't take it away, you probably wouldn't see him. You probably wouldn't follow this path. You probably wouldn't look up. Did God answer it? You don't know what to pray. That's what I'm proving to you. You don't know it. Humble yourself. You don't know it. Several of the prayer points you prayed. If God answered it, we would have died. Accept it. We would have died. Remember when you told God, if I don't marry this year, I will backslide. If I don't marry, 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 marry. You were attending weddings to present yourself. You were attending, because they said he's in wedding, they said it, and you are everywhere. Just look at yourself now and see the trouble you would have caused somebody's son. There are brothers that came 
to this our tent with pre-wedding pictures. Holy Ghost, come for me. Come for me, oh. I say some brothers. <laughs> brothers and sisters came to query side. They, they have pre-wedding picture. After two years to three years, they deny the pre-wedding picture. I want to ask, what would have been the destiny of such a marriage at that premature stage of their destiny when you have not even found your feet on the sand of destiny? You just rise up. You see the way the, your foundation will cut you off. After 25 years, you go back and apologize to your father if he's still alive. You will tell him, I was unjust in judging you. I found out that you know what you are doing is what he's doing you that you don't know. Don't worry. If you like, don't pull yourself out. You will go back and apologize to the man. You will find out that you didn't even manage to do half of what he did. Considering what faced him. Oh, man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I say you don't know what to pray for. And many times, because you don't know what to pray for, if God didn't answer your prayer point, you can even get angry with him. How do you know that that is a prayer point? Maybe God is driving you to the place where your calling will open up. You are telling God, let my business. You are telling God, God, this is my car that I'm using for Uber. God, this God made sure that the car lost. <laughs> he made sure that the car disappeared. In your bid to find your feet, you now did what you should have done. You know when you should have done this thing? Let me leave you. Do you know this guy? Do you know when he should have done this? More than two years ago. But thank God you are here, even if he's late. Bro, remove him on the camera, bro. Even if it is late, it will pay you more, but at least you are here. There is no mercy. No mercy. OJB, no mercy. There, there, is, there is no mercy. Holy Ghost, come for me. Come for me. Oh. Some of you. You cried for admission and said, if I don't get admission, how do you know admission is the prayer point now? How? Do you know that it's the same admission that made people to leave Jesus and enter the world? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So when God delays, he said, this one is not prayer point. This one is not prayer point. It's not prayer point. But that's your number. You are moving from one pastor to another, telling them, I need this one to be answered. I need... I need... To marry this year, I need to. I must marry. You are moving to every pastor. Meanwhile, what God needs to answer is to deal with the anger in you. Because even if you marry, you will stab your husband in the next three years. Oh, is this what I'm saying a big thing? What God needs to deal is the spirit of, for of unforgiveness. Because even if you marry, your marriage will break because you can't forgive your husband. You can't for you can't. Every pastor you are moving is. Do you know the prayer point? This kind of person, does he or she know the prayer point? What's the prayer point here? You will not know until you ascend the hills of Zion. When you come there, the immortals, they will even give you prayer point. It is a proof of a man that has been helped by the Holy Ghost in the adventure of prayer. He said, for we know not who told you you know. You are a proud man. All the time, you are praying all kinds of prayers. But you have not submitted your will. Submitted your prayer. Submitted your adventure to Jesus. And sometimes we just pray so that men will say that we prayed. But there is a leper. There is a template, a pattern. There are things that the Holy Ghost set for us in the spirit. Once our feet can match the feet of the Holy Ghost. It is from that time that prayer will start. When a man prays from that point, there is nothing like I prayed and God didn't answer. Listen, many years ago, Holy Ghost, come for me. Come for me. You. Holy Ghost, come for me. No, sir. 
Many years ago, a man of God, I was listening to a man of God. The man of God came and said that he doesn't have any prayer failure. That he has never prayed and he's not answered. I said, this man of God, and lie, 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 lie. Men of God, they too lie. They want to make... Yes, now. Even those years, I heard Bishop David O'Hare okay, say that he has not gone to hospital. He has not been sick. I said, how can people be saying this? He said, Tor, since he's Bishop, Naim, no. You know what I used to think those days? I said, if you are rich, why will you be sick? Rich people, do they fall sick? <laughs> Their sickness is even more costly. Listen to me. As a poor person, you are suffering poor person sickness. Anytime you are a poor person and you suffer big man sickness, is witchcraft. It's your foundation. I can tell you free of charge. What's your business with diabetes? When What have you eaten? People that have enjoyed their life eh, drank all kinds of stuff. They are suffering diabetes and liver failure. You, is saccharine that you are taking. Is Fanta that made you develop diabetes. Salt, salt made you have liver failure. Is your foundation. What did you eat? What do you eat that you are having? What have you done? You are having high blood pressure. That thing is big man sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, it's, it's when you are thinking about your one billion, your ship that is on the sea and the new government policy and all that. Bro, 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 bro. If God did not intervene, you will not find money to eat this night. What's the relationship between that and diabetes and liver failure and high blood pressure? It's your foundation. <laughs> there is big man sickness. In Nigeria, when COVID was here, did you notice that it was big man sickness? That's why they fought it. They made sure once he's touching big men, it will die. Have you seen the same thing with malaria? If you go to foreign nations, they don't have malaria. They don't suffer those. Am I, am I not correct? Why is malaria still in Nigeria and COVID has left? It's because it's big man sickness. Malaria is small man sickness. Now, now understand my point. Amen. Understand my point. There are many things that you have pursued that the hand of God is not in. Sometimes you can disturb God or disturb Him so much, He will allow it to happen. And that will be the destruction of your life. How do you know? The scripture said, for we know not. I choose to believe that you are correct. Let every man be a liar. And let God be the only truthful one. If God say you don't know, just believe it. Even if you don't understand yet, believe it. Over time, you will find every history has proved us correct. Has proved God. It's not just the Bible. It's not just the Holy Spirit. It's not just miracles. Even history has proved that God is always correct when he makes a statement and when he takes a position. So when God tells you that you don't know what to pray for, you'll be telling him money, money, he'll be telling you capacity, capacity. He'll be telling him money, he'll be telling you capacity. He'll be telling him anointing, he'll be telling you capacity. He'll be telling him, Lord, open the doors of ministry, he'll be telling you capacity, capacity. Because before you know it, in two, three years' time, bam! You will have a church of 1,000, 2,000 members. Are you hearing me? Every day, 35 of them is coming for, for counseling. On the weekends or some days, you travel for outside ministration. Travel outside your nation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then you tend to your family. Your family is still a young family. Then you are probably still doing your master's or doctorate degree. Are you getting what I'm saying? Eh? All these things, they will start coming. And then as soon as God lifts you, warfare will start. The Bible said that David was normal until they anointed him. As soon as they anointed David, the Philistines came to seek him. He was just normal. Nobody was disturbing him. I can tell you from personal experience. You are normal. Everybody like you until you are anointed. Once you are anointed, the Philistines will come. 
There is nothing you can do about it. The Philistines will come. It is that day that you find out that you don't know how to manage. You don't have discipline, the consecration to survive. Huh? That the things you desire, you don't have the capacity to bear it. Don't find out in the middle because you can't go back. Lift up your hand and say, Holy Spirit, show me my own prayer point. Show me. I know if I pray it, answer will come. Pray in 30 seconds. Pray in 30 seconds. Hello. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it was also very useful. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked this video. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. God bless you.